Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is our Mixed Media Thursday. Normally I do this live, but I'm on vacation, so I am doing a pre-recorded project for you. Normally on Thursdays I do some kind of mixed media project, whether it be painting on papers or mixing different types of papers together from different aspects using tattered angels glimmer mist acrylic paint those kind of things so today i thought what i would do is take some of the mixed media pages that i've made last week and make a journal page out of it so you kind of get a completion of start to finish of what i do with these things on my channel so what I've got here is a few different pages and patterns that I thought were kind of pretty that went along with the next kit that's going to be my subscription box. It's going to be inspirational and theme. We haven't named it yet, so hopefully we'll get that done really soon. And I went ahead on this particular page and trimmed it so that it was the same height as my page out of a dictionary, I believe. And I did that just so that when I am tearing and cutting, they'll match up. Because what I plan to do is use this piece of paper and put it into pieces and cover both sides using the mixed media pages and this piece here. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this. I'm going to just start ripping really close to the edge of this image all the way down. Okay. So I have ripped this edge all the way down and I think what's going to happen is when I fold this page in half and we're going to put that on this side, I can put this here and it's going to create a pocket that we can use in this journal. So I've ripped this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put some distress ink on that edge. I'm just using walnut stain and the Tim Holtz walnut stain distress inks and then the ranger ink blending tool use whatever you have all right so i just kind of just quickly went around that edge i've got a couple of other pages here i have glued them to another book page so they'd be thicker because these pages were very thin and i didn't want them to rip on me and i think what i can do is i'm going to put this across this page here i'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to rip it just a little bit away from that edge. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here on that edge. And that'll kind of help strengthen up that edge. I'm going to go ahead and kind of lift this back and put some glue right on that edge here. Kind of filling this in and making it stronger. And now I'm just going to start ripping. I'll cut off this excess at the bottom. And now I'm going to add some distress ink to this new edge. So how this is coming together now, we've got this new image, new pocket that's going to go right there. All right, so let's go ahead and decorate the rest of this page out. Let me get some of my things moved around. All right, so I've got a dictionary page in the background. I don't have to put anything back there if I don't want to, but I want some pretty color. So I'm looking at all these gel prints and mixed media pages that I have. And for some reason, this one just kind of calls to me. I could put that on this side, maybe put a little bit of washi tape up there. And that would give a really pretty background to this page. And it would give you some writing space. So what I'm going to do is trim this off to be the same height as my journal page. I just use my page as a guide. I don't always measure per se, because sometimes math is hard. <laughs> and I'll save this piece. We can use it for something else. All right, so I've got this piece here. This piece is gonna go over here. And I think what I wanna do to kind of give this some neat color or texture, as I'm going to stamp the edge of that before I glue it down. So I've got the texture edges rubber stamp here, one of them. There's a set of four. And what I'm going to do is just go all the way around the three sides here using archival ink. Dye ink it dries quickly. So if you think uh, dye, eat, drink, bleh. If you think dye ink dries, pigment 
ink stays wet. And that's why I like using dye inks because they dry quickly. So I'm just going to stamp this edge. I'm just trying to get it in the shot for you. Just kind of adds another texture layer there. And I'm overlapping this stamp because it's not quite long enough to do the whole page. So I'm just overlapping it just a little bit. And if it gets away from the edge, you know, like there's a little bit of a gap and you don't like that, I will just ink up the stamp again and press it to that edge. And what it does is just kind of obscures it and grunges up that edge. Okay. So if we kind of look at this again, let me get this other piece out of the way. So this is going to go over here. And this is going to go right here okay and i think what i want to do is i'm going to make this one a pocket right here so that you kind of have a hidden pocket on the page so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take this page and i'm kind of using the other page as a guide and the reason being is when i glued this part down on this side of the page, it will help give the page a little bit more stability. And then I'm gonna put some washi tape on the back side just so that this strengthens that up. I could take a piece of paper, but why waste the pretty paper? Just get an ugly washi tape maybe you don't like. Well, it's not one that is my favorite, but it is a kind of directional. So I'm just gonna use this because I have a couple of rolls of it. And then this way, I'm using up some of my stash. Now, remember, when you're using washi tape, don't pull it tight as you're laying it down or it make your page curl. And if your washi tape doesn't stick very well, wherever you are, maybe you just got a batch that won't stick. You can use glue stick or a layer of glue and then put down the washi tape and it should stick in place. All right, so now we've got this side ready to go this is going to go here this is going to go there all right so i'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down i'm going to put glue on this edge this edge and along this edge and of course all over this piece and i'm just going to position this into place and i'll use my bone folder i'll turn the page over and just rub it gently on the back side that helps that glue spread out just a little bit and get the papers to adhere to each other. And doing it on the back side ensures that I'm not going to tear my gel print on the other side in case I get a little rough. All right, so now I'm going to look at this. And I think what I want to do is put some washi tape across there. I picked up a couple. I got this blue that I thought might be kind of pretty. So I'm just going to start it onto the gel plate a gel god gel print i couldn't get the word out sure you could leave that page the way that it was but it wouldn't have had a pocket and by doing this now i'm creating a little pocket so that kind of covered up back there it kind of blends in together so i'm going to go ahead and turn this again because i see a spot i miss and i'm going to add glue across the bottom side and then up across the top so again, I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm just going to be really gentle. And I'm just pushing it away to the edge. That way, if there's any excess glue, it will come out the edge. I'm just refolding the page just to make sure I've got it the way I want. I like it so far. What do you think? So let's add a little bit more decoration on this side. I've got a few fussy cut images from my stash. And I thought I would see if I could find one that would look kind of pretty. And I think that would look pretty over here on this side. So I'm just going to make this kind of a tuck spot in case someone uh, wants it. Before I do that, though, I've got this piece of paper here. I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to make a little side tuck spot, if you will. So I'm going to cut this edge off. I think if we put that right here, that'll just kind of make a little bit more stability for a little tuck spot there. And I think what I want to do is add some color to that piece. So I'm grabbing some Tattered Angels, and I've got from the So Rockin', which is, not this, this is So Rockin' from the Artsy uh, Tattered Angels, So Artsy Tattered Angels, and I'm just going to spritz over that. 
and it'll just give that a nice purple hue and I'll dry it with my heat tool. So it gives that a really pretty purple hue and look, it kind of blends into the page there. So it looks like it's all part of my master plan. I went ahead and put some Distress ink around the edges as soon as I find my blending tool. Oh, found it. I think I'm liking how this is coming together. I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces together and then down onto the page. So first I'm going to go ahead and just glue this corner piece down. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit of washi tape. Like, I don't want to, I think I want to do it where it's coming up the top. Just a little bit. So you get that little bit of that same design on both sides. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's just there for pretty. And then we'll put this right on top. I'm putting glue mostly on the bottom portion because I don't want it to stick to my page and not have the tuck spot availability. Okay, I think what I want to do is put the word journal up there. So I've got the word journal that's part of the journal quartet rubber stamp set that I have in my shop. And I'm going to put that right there. I think that looks good so far. So I need something to go in the pockets and then we're going to flip it over and do the other side. But before I flip it over and move on, I'm going to go ahead and grab some tulip dimensional glitter paint and I'm going to put some glitter paint on these flowers, the bird, and on these flowers over here. I like this glitter paint because it's inexpensive. You can usually get it like at Hobby Lobby $3.99 for this giant four ounce bottle. And I like that it's clear. So whatever color is underneath will kind of shine through. And it just adds a little bit of sparkle to your project. All right, so I did the bird and the nest a little bit. So now I'm gonna do these flowers. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit here to the birds. All right, there we go. That looks good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside so it can dry. Now, I know I need two cards, so I think what I want to do is I want to make a 5 by 7 card, and then I want to make maybe a 4 by 6 journal card. So let me grab some cardstock to use as a base. So I've got some purple cardstock here that I thought would look really good with that page. So I'm going to cut this to be a 5x7 piece and then whatever's left we'll make it into a, a smaller journal card. So I can make four or two 4x6 four journal cards. So I was able to get two 4x6 and one 5x7. I have two little scraps left over. I've got this really pretty kind of a blue color. I think that would just pop on this page. This was made by using a rubber stamp on the gel plate and then pressing it. And so you got a really cool effect there. And I think I'm gonna just trim this to be just slightly smaller. So it's approximately five, or four and three quarters by six and three quarters in size. So I think that will look good. I'm going to add some Distress ink to both edges or both pieces of paper on all the edges. <laughs> For those of you that are chatting in this live premiere video, do share if you have a YouTube channel. You won't be able to share links, but you'll be able to say, hey, I have a channel and follow each other. And hopefully you're keeping the chat upbeat and friendly because that's what I like to see whenever I have a chat going on. And we're just here to have fun. Okay. So we used the distressed edges earlier. Let me see if I've got a different one I want to use. I have this one that kind of looks like a, a lace in a sense. I like these acrylic stamps because I have a storage sheet that I can put them on so I can look at them in a glance and then I just swap them out. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this all the way around. It's a whole different look, doesn't it, onto the page. It kind of gives a little bit more character. I have a little butterfly here and I still have some of this page left over from before and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this and kind of make a little rectangle if you will and then I'm going to apply some distress inks to this so if I put this here and we have this butterfly on top I think I also have some uh, I have some threads here, so I'm going to get some threads out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this page together, or the journal card together. 
I just remember that I made that pocket and it may not be as deep as I think. So I'm going to test it real fast. Try not to get anything on the glitter and see if that will fit. And then this, oh yeah, it'll fit. It'll fit. Yay. I've done that before where I've made a journal card and then it didn't fit together. <laughs> so I had to get creative. Okay. So I think we're going to put that right there. And then before I put the butterfly down, I've got these threads. So I'm just going to grab a few. Uh, these are old thread. Old thread, if you put it in your sewing machine, will break. And then you'll have all kinds of headache. And it won't make you very happy. So I'm using up my thread by making little nests, if you will, on journal cards and journal pages. And it just adds a little bit of interest to the page. So just a little bit underneath there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue down under the threads. It does dry clear. So if you don't cover it up, don't worry. But it'll help hold that glue into place, or the thread into place. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back side. And put it like that. And then I've got my little words that I think we're going to use. I like that one. And, oh, here we go. This one says spread your wings. All right, so I'm just getting a few of them out so I can have them for um, other journal cards that I know I'm going to be making. All right, so I'm going to put this spread your wings on here with a little bit of Lean's Tacky Glue. So isn't that a cute soup little journal card? You could write the date here if you wanted. You could write your sayings, whatever you wanted on top of this page. You can flip it over and write on the back as well. Okay, so we finished this card. I'm going to set this aside. Actually, I just realized I wanted to add some glitter paint to that butterfly because we're putting glitter paint on the other elements. Why not this one too? All right, so we've got a thin layer of paint on there now of glitter paint. All right, so I went ahead and I picked one of the mixed media prints or gel prints that I had and I trimmed it to be three and three quarters inches by five and three quarters inches and I applied some distress inks around the edge so I think that's going to go on top of there so let me grab let me see what I've got here I've got I've got this little rose this is a garden rose stamp that I think would look pretty on that page and then I think the words live in the moment would be pretty on there so I'm just going to glue these all together when I glue down this little rose, I'm only going to glue the side. So you could, in theory, tuck a little something behind it if you want. And I was going to put the flat, the words up here, but I think I'm going to move it down just a little bit and put it right here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and apply some glitter paint if I quit throwing things. <laughs> it's almost like I'm lying. I just throw things around. I like it. All right, I'm going to set this one aside to dry. And I went ahead and I just made another journal card and this was a scrap that was left over of trimming that other and I used a piece of washi tape here. Then the words and the shabby stitches just below and then this little bird. This is another one of Beeline Designs uh, rubber stamps as well and I'll have in the description box a list of all the items that I used. Isn't that kind of cute? Okay, so I've got the page back. And I went away for a few minutes so that the glitter paint could dry. This is another reason why I don't do it live is it takes it a while to dry and I don't have enough surfaces to lay everything out and then come back to it hopefully without have stucking, stuck something on top of it. But this will fit right down inside our pocket so we can close our page. Okay, we just want to test that. I always test it to make sure that I've got a good page fold there. And then this one is going to go over here. And I'll save the other journal card. We'll probably use it on the other side. But that's looking pretty cute, isn't it? I like it. All right, so I'm going to flip this over. And now we have this side that we need to do something with. And I have picked out a couple of pieces of paper here. And I've got some more of the Calico Collage image. So I'm kind of looking at this, trying to decide what do I want to do? I also have another piece that I may use, but I'm not positive yet. So I think what I want to do, I'm just kind of looking at this. If I were to put this across here, I'm going to go ahead and tear. 
actually I'm going to tear this corner but I'm going to leave this as a solid piece is what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and rip this piece because I think that will look really cute down in that corner and I'm going to grab another one of these pieces and I'm okay that it's going at an angle so I'm just going to glue this piece down so I can cut this or tear it actually I forgot to put distress inks on that edge but oh well it happens so that made that a little bit of a deeper piece so I'm going to go ahead and cut off these edges I keep putting my scissors down and I can't find them it's the same as in the live stream <laughs> All right, so we've got this piece that's gonna go down here, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and add some Distress Ink to that. Since I didn't get that edge before, I'm just using the edge of the blending tool and going really close to where that torn edge is, so I got both sides. So that piece is gonna go down here. I have this piece, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this. So it's on the page, and then I'm gonna put this piece over here. So I'm just kind of looking to see how far. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this piece to be the same height as my journal page. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just wanting to make sure that this torn edge is covering this mixed media page all the way down. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to trim off this piece of paper right at that edge there. All right, so now I'm going to put some Distress Ink on this edge. I'm putting it on this edge even though you won't really see it, but just in case some of it peeks through. And then I'm going to go ahead and do these two edges, three edges, the top and the bottom along with the side. All right, so here's our pocket that's going to go in the corner, okay? So we've got this tuck spot there. This is going to go over here on this side. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp this with the distressed egg, textured, textured edges that we used earlier. I keep calling it distressed. It's textured. I like how this is coming together. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You know, and I think what I'm going to do is because we made a secret pocket on this side, let's go ahead. It won't be as deep, but we'll make a little secret pocket on the other side as well. So I'm going to put some washi tape down this edge. All right, so I'm going to glue this paste down first. I'm going to put glue across here and across here, and I'm not going to bother with putting glue on this edge here. I'm just smoothing that out. If it didn't cover the edge, I'm just going to go over it with some Distress Ink. Sometimes I try to cut the same size and it doesn't always work. It's okay. We can work with this. Alright, so now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue it completely down. I like to go all the way around the perimeter and then just kind of do zigzags all over the page. I'm going to use my bone folder to smooth this out. And then I'm going to make sure that there's not any excess glue down here and it's dry. And then I can put this corner piece on here. I'm liking how this is coming together. Alright, so this is going to fold this way. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it again. So if you're looking at this page, this is what you see so far. So let's add some more decoration to it. I have a little mixed media piece that was left over from doing some gelato mixed media play. And I thought that would look kind of cute just right there in the corner. What do you think? And I think I want to add some washi tape. I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape across this section. Maybe right there. And just gives another continuation since we used washi tape on the other side. Since we have a butterfly on the other side and I used a bird there, I found this little butterfly. I thought that would look kind of cute up there, don't you think? So I'm just going to go ahead and add it. What I do is I will stamp a whole bunch of images that are perfect for fussy cutting. 
Then I will use some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and paint them. Now, if you're using Beeline Design Stamps, you could take a whole sheet. Let me show you what that looks like. So you could take a whole sheet like this and you could scan it into your computer when it's Beeline Designs because Beeline Designs allows you to do that with their angel policy. And then you can fussy cut them out after you print them several times. And that's what I'll do is I'll scan it in, then I'll print it several times. This is the original. Here is the copy. So you kind of see it's a little bit different, but I think the copies come out a little bit more vibrant. And if you want that shimmer, you spray them again with a Dazzling Diamonds Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and that'll make them sparkly. All right, so this is a tuck spot, but I'm not going to put anything in it right now. And then we have pockets here, but I'm not going to put anything in those. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over on this side. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, glitter paint and I'm going to add this little saying love is here. So I'm going to glue that down first. Actually, I think I'm going to put it down here because I think that would look better. Love is here. All right, so now I'm going to add some glitter paint. Okay, I'll add just a little bit on this little beach rose and then I'll put a little bit on the flower or not the flower the bird over here and this butterfly all right I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be back okay so the glitter paint is dry but I think I want to do one more thing so I'm gonna grab some dazzling diamonds this may be the my labels off actually I think this is iridescent gold but I think it's gonna be pretty anyway so I'm gonna play it in my spray box and I'm just going to grab this Tattered Angels and miss the page. And it's going to give a little bit of a gold shimmer, but not change the color underneath. And I'm going to flip it over and pull out the journal cards. And I'm going to do the same on this side as well. So I'll just add some shimmer to it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add some shimmer to the journaling cards that I made. All right, so now, I don't, you probably can't see it, but it shimmers, it sparkles. So we're gonna put this journal card in here, this journal card over here, and then we'll flip it over, and then this journal card will go in here. I like that color peeking out it all matches so when we are in our journal we would come to this page and then you would flip it and you would see this page and this page and then the last page well i hope you enjoyed this tutorial today me being on vacation and being able to hopefully chat with one another if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends because if you love anything that I do or anyone that you watch or follow on social media, share with your friends so that they can learn about that artist, that person, whatever it be that they do so that people can find them as well because it just kind of keeps going. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you at the next live stream, Monday, 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then again next Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check out the description box below for links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as by Linda Israel. If you have any comments that you want to make after the live premiere, go ahead and make those below, and I'll get back to you later. Do check out the links for the products that I use and thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate you being here. I truly, truly enjoy doing these tutorials and hopefully have the time to edit them. <laughs> and I'll have that more often, I hope, in the future. So thank you for being here. Have a fabulous day. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody.